hey everybody welcome back to the stream today's kind of streaming out of nowhere um, I was just sitting around and thinking that I wanted to stream something digital and I haven't done it yet really and I thought what's stopping me so I thought maybe it's time to stream something let me know if the music is too loud or is it okay or if I need to tone it down a little bit uh, but maybe a little bit but other than that um, yeah let's get straight into it I haven't really mastered the this procreate digital iPad stuff hey Schmelicopter you <laughs> you look unamused hi um, this is yeah I'm as I mentioned before this is a kind of a test stream don't think it's gonna take long but I thought why not why not give it a try theoretically on the screen the chat should appear but I'm not sure if it does yeah well I didn't announce this stream really anywhere I just posted it on Instagram uh, I thought maybe um, maybe we'll see who comes if I don't post anything and then <laughs> and then I still post it on Instagram so that kind of ruins it I had an idea walking around the um, the neighborhood we have a lot of cats here in the Netherlands and especially in Leiden where I live and some of the cats look like loaves of bread you know they sometimes just lay like this in the Sun and I thought what if what if there is a real bakery that bakes cat loaves that's a cat loaf so that will be the topic for today I don't know how long I will stream I don't think it's gonna take really long but let's see how it goes I don't I know that there are two people watching me hi two people nice so let's go ahead I have scenics brushes which I kind of really like it has some of them are quite weird uh, if you take this these bottom three for instance you draw and then it disappears and if you don't lift your uh, Apple pencil you can come back and kind of smear stuff around you know and blend it in really well so I guess it's good for some cases I don't know it's kind of it's just kind of fun but I will just take the regular pencil from Cynics and do some start with some doodling I was thinking about like having basically a bakery like you know the the regular stuff the maybe some somewhat stylized with you know I don't want to make it super cute with cat ears and all that nonsense but maybe it's just like a very uh, very small hut with a big chimney and I think I have here um, oh, not YouTube nope this thing uh, Pinterest that I can also show so let's say bakery and Google some bakeries just for to start 
Yep, of course the the bakeries are just baked goods. Bakery, let's just say bakeries. Okay, so it's all interiors, which will be useful later down the road. But for now, um, let's just design the, the look of this thing. So what, as I see, there there should be like a big window on which the catalogs should uh, just chill in the sun. So as I see it there, there is like a conveyor belt kind of thing. And in the middle, there is some kind of an oven. I don't know what it is filled with, like what's the fuel for the cats could be cat food I don't know so here here are the cats coming in and the cat loaves coming out like this so this is a loaf this is a cat this is you you get the idea um, so I was thinking about drawing the exterior of the this cat bakery and then maybe lowering the opacity and drawing the interior of that. So first of all, let's just come up with maybe some kind of interesting silhouette of that hut. And do let me know if the music becomes too loud. Hope it's not, but we'll see. So there will be a chimney here. What does a cat bakery need? Um, I don't know, maybe it has like a lifted uh, roof for the door. Maybe it has, I mean, as we already established that there will be like a window. This is a window for chilling. And I also don't know if this is an automated bakery and that the cats bake themselves. Um, maybe not. Maybe there, there should be a character who is baking the cats. So it needs to have some sort of like a pantry or maybe like a storage compartment for cats to go into. Uh, not well, yeah, <laughs> shouldn't be, shouldn't be a cage because that's kind of that's kind of sad. Don't know what else is needed for for the hut. Maybe nothing. Maybe I can just go ahead and try out the drawing guide. Should we do it isometric? Haven't done isometric stuff in a while. Maybe like here. Oops. I mean, it's 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 more like baking cats. You know that sometimes cats sit like this. They look like loaves of bread, and I thought the loaf must come from somewhere. So could be <laughs> could be a bakery that makes cats. So let's say maybe it's kind of like mm, something like that. Let's just do some rough outlines of the shape. Maybe I should do it in another layer. 
I'm still figuring out all the, this whole digital stuff. And I guess because I'm streaming in the evening today, some people from other parts of the world can join, finally. Because otherwise I guess I stream at the very inconvenient time. Something along these lines, maybe, okay. Let, I mean, this is just a rough sketch, so it doesn't have to be pretty. Just have to translate the ID and general shapes. Something like this, maybe. It will look pretty later, maybe. <laughs> we will see. Can't promise that actually, but I hope. And probably we need to change the layout a little bit. Maybe the chilling window for the cats is like here because we kind of need to see it on the illustration. Otherwise, what's the point of all this? Or it could be that the that the cats go kind of like through the house like this, and they end up in this area just on the shelves, chilling in the sun. Something like that. There will be cats here, cat and uh, not cats, cat cat lobes. I think that would be a appropriate name for it. I know lately the weather here has been really sunny and nice, and a lot of cats are just chilling in the sun. Surprisingly, I'm not a big fan of cats. I'm more like a dog person, I think. But there are more cats here than dogs. So you gotta work with what you have. If you have cats, work with cats. I guess. So there might be an actual window. Maybe like a little bush here. What a what does bakery need? Let's see. This is yeah, this this is a good probably image for that because it's from the outside. So they just show all their breads and loaves. Hmm. What if we try to search for a village bakery? That should be more along the lines. The cat bakery doesn't need to mill anything really. So it doesn't shouldn't have a windmill attached to it because it's not milling the cats, hopefully. But let's see. Maybe it needs some sort of like a bench. Definitely needs a bench. I usually put a lot of barrels everywhere. <laughs> if it's like a country house thing, there will always be like a barrel in my drawing. I'm not sure if it's accurate. I haven't seen that many barrels in villages really. But you know what? You get to do what you get to do. Maybe there should be also like a sign that it's a cat bakery. 
and it has fresh cats. Maybe like a little. Oh, this this is actually a good thing. Those little uh, signs that they put in front of the shop. Like this. And then we have a tangency tangent. Is it tangent? Yeah. With a barrel. Which means that the lines are touching each other and confuse the viewer. So let's just put instead of a barrel, maybe like a table here. in front of the open window. Maybe here instead of the window there could be like hanging catnip herbs and all that kind of stuff. I never had a cat so I don't really know what I'm talking about. There could be some I don't know, cat toys. Maybe some cats are just walking in the bakery to get baked. <laughs> uh, hey, Mosk. Um, I'm streaming suddenly. And I don't know, I was just sitting thinking what to do and decided to stream a little bit, some digital stuff. And this is a cat bakery that bakes, makes cat loaves like this, you know. Okay, you go away. I wonder why my chat box doesn't show the chat. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Da -da -da. Okay. Don't know if it works now. We'll see when somebody writes something. But let's just make this layer much less visible, add another one, and maybe do some more precise drawing. I have a very melancholic music here. Should we keep it? Yeah, okay, let's keep it. It's all of our Arnold's. And I think the, uh, what is it called? The, if you want to know what's, what music is playing theoretically, it should be possible now on Twitch under the stream. There should be an extension that shows the currently playing on Spotify. Maybe we need to make this bigger to accommodate for more cats. It should be like a big cat storage room and cats like climbing everywhere. So I think this shouldn't be really an issue for them. sticks out of the out of the main building a little bit like this let's remove the necessary stuff 
so it doesn't confuse us. Huh. That looks very Miyazaki. -ish. Yeah, I think cats and bakery sounds. It, it, yeah, it does sound very Miyazaki. -ish. You're right. Mosk says that the Twitch is not working. I wonder if it's because everybody is streaming right now and they had to lower the quality of the streams like they wanted to. Or is it just bad internet at home? This will be like a straw roof hut, I think. What is it called? The reed roof? Reed, I think is the right word. And I remember I wanted to add this kind of uh, little extension here for the door, something like this. And I think later I will do probably the interior. Never tried that, I always, not always, but wanted to try it kind of recently. So kind of why not do it here, right here, right now, as they say. I must say that streaming with a normal music is much more pleasant. Much more pleasant than with the royalty free stuff. I mean, <laughs> normal music is a very stretchable idea. It's purely taste based, but would the bakery have like a wooden door with a huge handle? Probably. Yeah, I wanted to just start the stream and see how it goes, like with people showing up and in general if like somebody gets the notification about the stream, you know, all this kind of stuff. And I'm pleased to say that it's kind of as many viewers as I usually have. Which is not a surprise because I think in the evenings more people have time than on Sunday mornings. Although lately I bet a lot of people have <laughs> much more free time and much less uh, plans. Or at least the plans that people have usually tend to fall apart because of this quarantine and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. Some 
in this maybe there is this bush hanging out on the side mm, could be like a I don't know the firewood storage in the back something like this So here will be different shelves with, let's search for these cat houses. What is it called? Cat tree? Yeah, like this kind of stuff. Maybe the shelves should be more along these lines. So the cats can climb around there and have fun. And luckily with this grid to support us, we're kind of good to go. I used to do this traditionally as well. If you're interested, I think I have a video of that's, oh, maybe not, maybe I, that was the video that I lost. But yeah, I, I did that traditionally as well. When you draw the whole net, the full net, uh, the whole uh, the whole grid before you draw, and then it helps a lot. The only thing you need for that is uh, a ruler, and ideally the ruler like the triangle ruler you know that helps a lot miyazaki -ish. uh yeah i will stream on sunday as usual in the morning at least for a little bit uh, but I today I just thought well I have a free evening I want to draw why not why not stream some of it and see what happens I know that for some of my regular viewers it could be not the best time but that's still okay, I think. You can clearly see that I have never, <laughs> never had a cat because I'm having so much trouble drawing this <laughs> really easy stuff. I will draw then because right now I'm playing Animal Crossing. No, you shouldn't say that out loud because because Jenny really wants to play Animal Crossing and she even bought a Switch. But it's not it hasn't come yet, so you know. And nowadays you never know when it's going to arrive with all these delays and I think a lot of people are actually ordering this switch thingy do you have wait you have Nintendo switch to play Animal Crossing I I haven't really heard much about Animal Crossing I only know that it's some kind of MMORPG and apparently it has a lot of animals in it. That's kind of where my knowledge ends. But it, I don't know, it sounds to me like Stardew Valley. <laughs> Which 
which probably is a completely different game. Okay, this one is just hanging here. Maybe we connect it with let's let's put another shelf over here. That shelf can go deep into the shed. And then this is connected with this one. And maybe, oh, look at those things. There are like staircases everywhere. Maybe there is a staircase for cats that leads deeper inside somewhere there. Let's actually switch this one. <laughs> let's let's listen to some tone weights again. They worked really well last time. Here should be the sign for cat loaves. something like this. That looks like cat loaf to me, kind of. Mm, something like this. Mm -hmm. Maybe there is another sign at the bottom. Maybe not. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll just add some wood texture there or something like that. Um, maybe there is a, a little staircase leading up. looks still kind of empty inside so maybe I'll just add some random planes there and there is a scratchy thing maybe there is catnip somewhere maybe here Some of the grass thingy that cats like so much. I have no idea what I'm talking about. That's a very weird corner right here. I feel like it's a little bit Asher like the, all these connections don't kind of make sense all this. Maybe there is a little door for the cats to 
go in and out if they want. Alright, should we do the colors maybe just to block stuff out a little bit? The chimney also looks kind of boring. Yeah, maybe let's just block some colors. Just roughly. Now go, go away, Pinterest. Doesn't want to go that way. Only this way for some reason. Also, let's see, maybe we can make the grid a little bit less visible. Because it's kind of annoying that it's so in your face. That's, that's a bit better. I always struggle with picking the brushes as well because I don't know, just haven't found the brush that I would like to use for everything. Like I think this charcoal brush is okay. You can like you can build it up very faintly but you can also make it really dark okay let's see we oof. just want to see the right color for it. I think this actually looks sort of what I had in mind. Hey Romola man, welcome to the unexpected weird st <laughs> stream thingy that we have here. Um, I'm drawing a cat loaf, uh, not a cat loaf, a cat bakery. It's a place where you can make a cat loaf out of your cat. As you know, sometimes cats are loaves. We'll also do a little bit of shading, but not too much, I think. Still feel much more comfortable, <laughs> which of course is a kid bakery. Yeah, I I had this idea to draw the interior, uh, the exterior of some sort of a house, and then lower the opacity and draw interior on the same, like with the same view. And I thought maybe isometric view would be good for that. So that's kind of what it is right now and cat bakery is yeah you you know sometimes you're walking around the city it's sunny maybe it's a sunny day and you see a lot of cats laying around and a lot of them look like loaves of bread so that got me an idea and since uh, the other streamers that I usually watch in the evening, like Julistrator, are not streaming right now or didn't stream when I was starting out. I thought maybe I'll do it myself. You know. And that's how it all started. That's why I didn't really like announce it anywhere or probably won't stay for too long but at least a little bit I think could be fun
How are you doing there? How is life? Hope you're all guys safe and sound and your grandparents as well. <laughs> Sounds a bit creepy to say that, but I guess in nowadays situation it's it's okay. I think there are a little bit browner, maybe a little bit redder parts as well on the roof. There are also if you if you look at this roof, like there are some green beads and some yellow beads and all that stuff. I think it looks really really cool. Just need to follow the lines, I think. Maybe I'll add some some greens as well. Maybe some warmer greens. Maybe some also darker greens. That's a little too bright. It also, maybe I should also do that, like it has these um, parallel lines that probably hold all this hay together. Hay. Never understood the difference between hay and reed. Does, does anyone know the difference? Is there a difference? Maybe there is no difference. That, that should be enough for the first layer. Let's let's do the uh, the base color for the wood, but I think I will do it on the layer below just to not think about getting it accurate, and then I can merge it all together. Rommel man is doing good, crunching a bit of work. Later I will stream. How are you? I believe I started following you after you did the cave tavern. Could be. I have actually I have the cave tavern I think here as well I can come back to it so yeah we did a little bit of this like exploration for uh, how it should look and like all the what do they call these little sketches and currently I'm here right now my biggest problem is always that uh, I like I get I'm okay with sketching also digitally you know like this kind of stuff this is obviously the stuff I did with watercolor I can't stop at the right moment yeah this this is unfinished watercolor and then I just traced it around and got to kind of like this stage and you know like this stage I really like I think like the composition is all right if I apply the values right it can look like really dragging you in I tried to do that a little bit with just these block values also tried to color the mushrooms a little bit uh, but yeah, but then comes the stage where you have to like really render the materials and all that and this is where I get stuck like I kind of ha don't have an idea how to do that like with the rest with traditional media I know I know how to do that with like with watercolors you just layer and layer little little by little but with this stuff I don't know 
either I'm just too impatient and expect digital to be quicker or like I don't know better <laughs> than traditional or I'm just I'm not doing the right thing do you already know what you're gonna stream later and how much later I might raid your stream or just watch it myself if it's not too late. I I kind of struggle with that every time before Sunday when I usually stream in the mornings. Uh, I mean it's morning here in in the Netherlands when I stream on Sunday uh, but the the problem is that I kind of never know what to draw I usually just ask my girlfriend to come up with an idea and she always has this I don't know sometimes super random topics that I would never think about you know and that's why it's it's great to <laughs> delegate the task to someone. Let's add some of that green at the bottom. Because maybe there is some moss growing. Who knows? not that much too much moss character critical role fan art I mean hour and a half probably nice then then I might join just to <laughs> fall fall asleep while watching the stream if you're gonna stream though are you f listening to critical role like on the What what is it called? Jesus, I'm losing my thoughts. <laughs> um, are you listening to their latest campaign or their first campaign? I'm currently on the 99th episode of the second campaign. Also, did a little bit of the. I mean, I did concept art, uh, fan art for Critical Role once which was the sword that was um, assembled if I don't, I don't know if you're if you watch the wait maybe I'm spoiling everything <laughs> anyway I did a fan art of a sword <laughs> let's put it this way it's I guess it's safer But I, I'm kind of bad at characters. I'm usually learning some anatomy here and there by just like watching some other people draw and trying to copy that and study a little bit of like human proportions and all that. But I'm really not confident with with that stuff. On the second campaign, already caught up. Oh, that's cool. So you're you're looking forward to tomorrow. Are you watching it live or like in the podcasts or YouTube form? I usually do wait for them to release it as a podcast because I don't know, it's just so much easier, and it's kind of hard to catch them live when you're living in a different in Europe basically because they're streaming in the evening on uh, Thursdays it's 
so it's kind of six o'clock in the morning on Friday here where I live but podcasts are great no spoilers what's happening in the chapters I'm listening to right now well uh, they're basically going to this meeting between Queen Dynasty and the Empire. Wait, is it? Yeah. Between the Bright Queen and the Queen. <laughs> Am I confusing them all? Mm. Yeah, you can also watch the VOD on Twitch afterwards. I did that a couple of times when I caught up to the very last episodes and I really needed some critical role in my life. So I just waited until the next day and watched. But I'm trying to not get caught up until the very... Uh, the, the kind of very last episode because I also want to have some buffer in case I listen to it too quickly. They stream at zero, I mean at midnight in Argentina, so kind of too late for you. Yeah, and they stream for three, four hours, so that's kind of too late. I Since I never watched their live shows, I don't know if they uh, how long is the break in between? So probably it's like four, four and a half hours in total. But yeah, in, in the episodes that I'm listening right now, they're going for this meeting in the middle of the ocean. And I think I'm getting close to the end of the uh, end of the episode. So they probably they already met with the with the other party on C and now the like all these negotiations will start and I'm kind of curious to see how they handle it and also really curious to see what happens next because it seems for now at least that this is uh, the kind of the end of it they they don't really have that many other loose ends to tie up so I'm, I'm curious how they will proceed and I don't really remember how many episodes the first campaign had so I think it was 150 or something like that so we probably are good for another half a year of critical role you started using Amazon Prime just for the monthly subscription yeah that that helped me too but I had Amazon Prime before that so but I I wasn't subscribed to anyone I was just using it for delivery bonuses but I had to subscribe to them both to support them and also to get access to the uh, VOD on the next day. I'm drawing them in their gala outfits. Oh, yeah, those those ones. Are you gonna draw them one by one, or like is it? Do you, do you draw them as, as a group or like a scene? Or do you do just like one character per stream? Was was thinking the same about the gala outfits because they you know they picked ridiculous stuff. You know if they're going to stream tomorrow because of the uh, coronavirus. Hmm, true. That's that's a good point. Although they streamed last last week, right? And they streamed the week before that. 
even though kind of everything was already clear about the corona stuff don't know how it is in the US in terms of quarantine and uh, not letting people gather in groups here in the Netherlands they uh, they prohibit gathering more than uh, two people I think now unless you're a family and or a household or something like that one by one started off stream last week they didn't stream oh didn't didn't know that then maybe i'm further behind than i should be i played i uh, played the call of cthulhu oh true there was this doom something yeah i, I saw it on uh, youtube but i haven't watched it yet have you watched the this C call of cthulhu campaign uh, or like one shot that they did maybe i'll watch that one when i'm all cut up but i really hope that they will somehow find a way to well first of all i hope they're all safe and not sick maybe they can find a way to still stream while all this shit's going on but we'll see yeah that would be a bummer if, if they have to pause the campaign because of this virus this would be kind of the only thing that would really annoy me because like they there are uh two concerts that got cancelled that i wanted to go to but this is kind of like i can wait for that you know they they won't be completely cancelled ah the doom was on monday i'm too deep into critical role tried to watch all of their content i haven't finished campaign one as well i'm should be ashamed of myself but I'm not uh, but I haven't finished campaign one either but I, I don't know I feel like maybe one step at a time first second campaign then while waiting for the third one I can go back and watch the first one kind of think maybe I will get confused if I start listening to both of them at the same time Although, I don't know, they have very different characters and they're good voice actors, so you don't get the characters confused at least. Let's make this a little darker. Haven't drawn any cat loaves actually, maybe I should do that. you get confused yeah that's that's the danger of listening to two campaigns at once i'm i'm looking forward to getting my dice set i supported them on the uh, kickstarter campaign for the uh, for those for the animatics uh, for animatics animated series it's bigger than just animatics um, which I'm also really excited about like that, that would be cool but I'm also looking forward to getting my dice and also what, what oh yeah the, the second uh, graphic novel that will come out uh, on I don't know, somewhere in, in June I think if everything goes well I have the first one, Vox Machina, uh, the origins. I don't know. I really, I, I enjoyed it. Um, my girlfriend didn't really understand the uh, 
those <laughs> breaks in in between the chapters when they show kind of like the history of of Vox Machina but I don't know I, I think it's still a nice novel to get some of the critical role into your system but I'm curious to read the second one as well <laughs> that was a big critical role uh, tangent I don't mind the I don't know, really, really appreciate the guys and the content that they do. And it kind of helped me through a lot of my own struggles and all that stuff, you know, just to have a safe place to listen to and to, I don't know, an interesting story to be told in, in a different world away from all the stuff that's going on I don't know I kind of really value that part I think haven't watched actually uh, any of their oh I uh, Roman Man says I bought merch in November and the mail here is shit so I haven't received it yet and now with coronavirus mailing is even slower the package on the last part of the way well fingers crossed it can finally make it to you I also got myself a um, Mighty 9 t-shirt I don't know just wanted to have something from them and I got myself a t-shirt and it looks cool I already wore it for a few days <laughs> really hard to take it off because I don't you know such a fanboy but yeah sometimes you get to wash your clothes if, if you like them I don't know this this whole story of them becoming these rock stars of Dungeons and Dragons I don't know it's such a cool story and they are people who really deserve that like they you know I, I watched all the um, between the sheets episodes with them and everyone is to know such a humble person in a way and has some like I don't know in every in every interview they had something really interesting to say and personal and really touching and stuff like that I don't know just really resonates with me some way let's smudge this stuff a little bit nope wrong layer okay then no smudging And they keep humble. Yeah, that's that's the the true kind of humbleness. It it's not like they're pretending to be someone they're not. Like they're you can see how crazy they get when when they get support from the fans and like how how really sincerely they feel about all of that stuff. <laughs> I mean it 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 will 
take for some people it's it would take enormous effort to keep being humble when you get 11 million dollar support when you needed like 700,000 to make the TV show so it really does say a lot and they're always trying to give back and like support all the charities and stuff pretty cool pretty cool I think the world needs more people like that the world can always use more heroes there was this house and if you look at the way this it ends it doesn't have this thing really like it's just kind of just kind of ends weird all right let's put some let's put some cats boots and cats Let's not put cats on this layer though. Let's also do the chimney. Maybe chimney is. Yeah, it looks metal. It should be kind of dark. Probably. Now, speaking of metal, I created a different playlist for the stream. <laughs> so now I have to have a chill stream playlist and. Uh, and then another heavy metal stuff <laughs> but I, I don't know I get too too scared today so maybe I'll try that another time not on Sunday though Sunday is a chill day uh, maybe uh, Ronald mentioned maybe try finding how the roof is constructed from another point of view let's let's give it a try let's see read roof Read roof, read roof. That's <laughs> that's a point of view. Um, oh, there is a construction of it. So they basically put read on it, which <laughs> makes sense because it's a read roof. Yeah, it kind of kind of just ends. Like it. This is a crazy house, by the way. Uh, but it's just a just a reed roof that kind of ends with this little bit of like you can see that there it's just uneven at the bottom, but the rest is kind of just okay. We're going in the wrong territory. yeah so it just kind of flows and ends maybe we, uh, maybe i'll just add some little straws hanging here and there and maybe just maybe i will add the cat loaves too many layers i just think maybe i'll just group all the color layers there is the sketch layer I didn't sketch the sign and, and the window disappeared somehow yeah it just ends like it's weird but what's also weird are the cats that are not here yet okay there should be kind of rectangular there we go uh, 
that's a cat loaf. I mean, it needs ears and maybe a tail. I think some loaves might have tail, but most of them don't. And what they need is the face. And maybe a control line. Cats have round eyes, right? It's a very derpy cat loaf and looks more like corgi loaf, to be honest, which is unacceptable because it's a cat bakery. Maybe I need to watch a tutorial how to draw a cat without it looking like a corgi. About some more orange. Something like this, maybe. And just smear it around a bit. Also, it might be a little bit too big. It needs to fit in there. Oh, it needs it needs a little darker size, I think. So probably it shouldn't have the same exact color. Okay, gonna lurk for a while. <laughs> All right, thank you, Romola man. Thanks for stopping by anyway. I really appreciate that. Hope your Mighty Nine merch reaches you soon and the stream goes well. Does a cat loaf should have a crust on top or is it inhumane towards cats? Probably it's not good if your cat has a crust. Now I need to bring the eyes back. How about this pencil? Now that brown was better suited for the cat ears. Let's remove that extra ear here. That's the first cat loaf done. It's a, it's a decent cat loaf, I think. Should I just... <laughs> What if I just copy this cat and place it everywhere? How do I copy it? Duplicate. Now let's do five for now.
looks <laughs> looks quite dumb, I must say. But oh well, maybe I just can color them differently, and that would be enough. This cat will be hiding behind it. All right, first of all, let's just group them all on one layer. We can move them later with other tools. Let's just delete half of the cat here. Just like this. Now it's hiding behind the column. Second of all, all cats need shadows, obviously. Can't really have a cat without a shadow. Especially if it's sunny outside, so. You cat love also need a shadow. You know, if you still feel really uncomfortable with uh, digital painting, like I'm okay, I think, with digital sketching and drawing, but painting is pain in the butt. You just need to get used to it, I guess. I got an iPad, what is it, three weeks ago, right before they <laughs> released a new version of it. So that was really smart on my side. But I'm, I don't know, I don't regret it. It's, it's really cool tool. What if I now select the cat loaf and then just say uh, hue situation? Nothing changes because I'm on the wrong layer. There we go, hue situation. It's a party cat. There should be one black cat. Obviously, it's not going to be completely black, but black enough, I guess. Let's make this one maybe white. All right. I mean, I can go later and add some more details and all that stuff, but I think now I just want to see the cat loaves around. Can we? No. No blue cats allowed. I think I added too much of this one band called Den Sorte Skole. It's a Danish duo of turn turntablists. And I think I added their whole album there and now it's kind of them every second song. Which I don't mind in general, but also kind of get tired of them. Maybe I shouldn't have added so much. Oh well. This one will also be black, but then I will, or like dark gray, but I will add some white spots, I think. This. I'll lock this one so I don't draw outside of the 
kitties. And then just add some white spots. I used to listen to this guy a lot when I was in university. Emancipator. I'm always super inspired by people who can do stuff by themselves. You know, like it doesn't matter if it's a musician or a video maker or whatnot. you know just the ability of people to pr make a good product by themselves without help from others without you know doing anything weird that last sentence didn't make sense but okay Yeah, that one is weird though. Maybe this one has some gray on her cheeks. Well, that didn't quite hit the mark. I mean, doesn't look exactly like I wanted to. But oh well, I think I will keep the exterior like that for now, at least. Um, maybe I will do another stream on that later. Maybe not today. I mean, definitely not today. <laughs> uh, but let's group this stuff, call it uh, exterior clever naming and now I think I can what can I do with it I can duplicate it hide this one and then just group all of this stuff and now I can just lower the opacity to maybe like 20% Lock this layer for some reason and go back into sketching. I think I will just sketch a little bit of the interior and call it a day because this was unplanned stream in the middle of the week anyway. Window for chilling. Just want to test out how it is to sketch the interior and I turned on the drawing guides just to know just want to try them out as well in isometric view. Can always round the corners later. And make it a little bit more alive I like that Procreate is really adjustable like you can you can set up a lot of preferences by yourself kind of the way you want to work with it for instance like i had i turned off everything that's connected with double tapping ipad pencil because uh, apple pencil because i'm i guess i'm just whole, like using it weirdly probably but the way i use it i was always double tapping when i didn't want to
And that was quite frustrating. Okay, I see now that we're missing part of the house. Unless there's like a round corner here. I mean, not round, cut, cut through. Yeah, why not? Let's let's say that's that's the plan inside. For no reason, so it probably will look a bit weird and out of place, but oh well. No, where is my drawing system? There it is. So that would be our roof here. It's kind of hard to imagine the interior when you don't really <laughs> don't really know what you're doing. Okay, that, that's another corner. No, wait, that's that's this corner. I don't need this one. Probably don't need this stuff, or at least not as much. We need the chimney to go down all the way into the uh, into the oven, because where else the cats will be baked? Also, I need to pack my drawing system. All right, we need to figure out where where this door leads. It's kind of obvious here. There is inner angle. I think drawing the the interior completely with starting with the floor would be the easiest way. because I kind of know where the floor is based on the roof. So the chimney is a little bit away from this thing. So maybe the, uh, what is it called, the baking thingy, <laughs> Jesus, what's going on, I'm, maybe I'm too tired to stream today, the baking thingy, the oven, the oven is probably around here, and it should be a big one, because it needs to accommodate all the cats that go into it. So there is the chimney. And this is where the pipe will start the chimney. That seems about right. <laughs> and maybe I'll just do this thing here. So let's let's finish up the interior a little bit. Um, it needs some sort of a table to make 
are well they're not making cats red so hmm. but they need they do need an opening for the cat loaves to come out of so maybe it can be like here and it can extend into this second room something like this maybe and here could be like the opening to where they supposed to go into it could like since they're going there themselves maybe there is maybe the opening is like at the bottom so like a cat door making it a little bit more visible like that just to indicate here that there's another thing nah. all right what else does this house need it definitely needs some maybe like some shelves sticking out of the wall Maybe the shelves kind of look sort of like these cat playing thingies. Kind of the same as in the second part of the house. And the table could be like maybe here. Could be a long table for a lot of stuff. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I haven't really figured out all the details of cat baking like I don't don't really know if if they do something with cats before the cats get into the oven like, I don't know do they play with them do they just uh, show them how to get in I don't know I would say it's an open question open to interpretation mm, maybe I will do some more yeah let's do without the drawing assist just to kind of sketch around a little bit I'm thinking maybe there is like another there should be another window on the other side of course because otherwise it's kind of too dark and gloomy maybe could be a window like this with a big uh, por porch no the, the window porch the under window table <laughs> kind of dark that the cats get into the oven. Well, how how else do you get a cat cat loaf? Is is there any way around asking the cat to to get into the oven? I'm not sure. Maybe, probably that's the only way. Or I don't know. Maybe there is like a thing that they play with and then suck. <laughs> 
that suddenly they're in the oven baking that probably would be darker <laughs> Don't know though. It's it's an open question. Science scientists are still working on that. Maybe they just go into the oven themselves. Maybe it's like, I don't know, maybe I should have made the oven a little bit like a couch. So they play on the couch and then suddenly tin 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 they become cat walls. Okay, let's let's sketch some more. So inside of this shed there probably will be like a little table here maybe something like this there will be a table up here or not a table but kind of like a cat shelf and let's say there is a, a hole in it Similar to Pokemon Go candies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I don't know, we, we'll figure it out by the end of this project, I think. What I don't like is that this for now just looks like the person who lives or works in this bakery, the only thing they know is shelves. <laughs> and I'm not sure if that's what I was going for, but I guess it is now. There's this conveyor belt for cat loaves. Let's switch this song as well. There is Emancipator again. How about some Mike Vass? Not not Mike Vass, but Mike Vass, or maybe not. Oh yeah, let's let's go some some of this guy. He he is really nice and chill. I think it's appropriate for the evening. Wonder how far is Argentina in time from us? Should be maybe plus what I mean minus eight or no, maybe minus six so it should be like around four o'clock in Argentina right now just a wild guess thing can we this little walking lane maybe there's another one here mm, what else I mean yeah they do need a chair somewhere maybe like a carpet in front in front of the door 
All the carpet in the bakery is probably a really bad idea because of all the flour and stuff. But this is a cat bakery. And cats need need carpets. I'm just trying to make the cut more interesting. group those two the the one thing is i don't really like in procreate or at least i haven't mastered yet is the <laughs> the, one, the only one thing i haven't mastered yet in procreate is when you combine merge two layers in one it's kind of flimsy i usually merge everything by accident instead I did a couple of times this trick when you just create a couple of empty layers just so it's easier to pinch them all together but it's kind of dumb all right let's see what if we hide this stuff yeah, it still kind of reads as as the insides of the house not as much as anything else including the bakery but it's the first the first attempt let's see how it goes further Maybe, maybe the cats first play on the table. And then they go into the oven. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> that, that is a little bit dark, okay. Let's draw a cat butt here so everybody understands that the cats go there by themselves. Nobody's dragging them, nobody's no hurting animals or anything. They make their choice to become the low. And the loaves, they they should smile because to kind of just support the idea that they're having fun there. I think I turned. How did I turn on the music from from my laptop? That was weird. But it doesn't matter. I think I think I will be ending this here. I think it's kinda enough for a test stream and just to see how it goes. So guys I really and girls I really appreciate your company here today. It was fun. <laughs> Those cats are insane. Yeah. Maybe that's how you make an insane cat into a cat loaf. Just to make it more safe for other cats on the street but yeah i think i think this will be it for today thank you for joining this spontaneous stream romola man i'll try to join your stream if i don't fall asleep in the next hour or so but yeah i hope i will see you all on 
Sunday for our regular morning and chill draw watercolor whatever stream. Right. Take care everybody. Thanks for joining.